sweet <laughs> prince, and welcome to my lair. How charmingly you slipped into my trap, and that's why no one calls you Prince Perceptive. <laughs> Don't recognize me? Honest, oh, but you will. I've been here in the shadows all along. It's cold there, in the shadows. <laughs> Never mind. What's that, you ask? My once upon a time, oh, King Stuffing's wedding. You were very young. Invited everybody to the land. All right. It turns out every but the witch. Oh. The fairies brought no seats, but I was fine. Another evening talking to my cat. <laughs> <laughs> my application for that royal grant, an installation sculpture. Picture this. The Woodland, Blackwood Tar and Poison Spikes. Symbolic? That deforestation kills. <laughs> it's also kind of comical. You know, the paperwork, three months of grueling toil, and just a singing messenger. Thanks, no. No feedback. Just what improvements could I make? It's dark and sharp, and what more could... Moving on. And then the princess born the festival. You know, I streamed alive this crappy crystal ball. Here eating toadstool ice cream while I cried. Those ninny fairies, frumpy songs and gifts. Here's Melody, here's beauty, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why not passion, creativity, a flair for the dramatic? Consciousness? <laughs> <laughs> so, I showed up with this performance piece. A monologue. This woman casts a curse, some comic bits, a spinning wheel, a prick. <laughs> I figured something edgy, avant-garde. But no one got it. <laughs> Peasant! <laughs> Dog eyes, I mean, come on. I dressed up all in black. You know, theatrical. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> so now you and the princess <laughs> wedding bells. And once again, my invitation. Where? <laughs> All right, it's on. Let's do it. Let's get real. That spinning wheel idea. What the hey? And, and now your princess slumbers in a tower in all the kingdom and deep enchanted sleep. I wrapped the castle all in vines and thorns, and nobody can break the spell but you. And here's a comic twist with a love's first kiss. <laughs> oh, gosh. So tell me, Mr. Charming, if that is your real name. <laughs> what are you really made of? Your opinion. Think. It's lame. <laughs> oh, sister, not the monologue. Again, another plan, then bam, seems at the end. The convoluted plot, the magic kiss. Forget that crap. Hey, look, I bought you this. <gasps> what? Ooh. Pickled in a virgin's lonely tears to leave him flaccid for a hundred years. The perfect scheme to spoil their wedding night. This never happened. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> not or baptize a centaur's blood and gore to make him smell like the rear end of a horse. You always need to complicate things, though. Um, like with herpes? Gross! Of course not, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's not enchanted, evil, or divine. Department store, $1.59. I mean, <laughs> yes, there was sorcery involved. Time travel was a mystery to solve. The conjuring of silly paper bills. But this is pretty simple. Look, it kills. <gasps> oh, Jesus. You killed him? Yeah, no web of tangled threads, no spell, no scheme. You stab him, done, he's dead. <laughs> and, drum roll, please, no kiss will bring him back. Just maggoty ever after. Eat black. So, checkers, checks. But what's the fun in that? There's nothing interesting to cackle at. We'll cackle over checkers, brew some tea. We'll cackle over childhood memories. We're sisters, we can cackle anytime. There's more to life than Machiavellian crime. <laughs> If Ursula were here, she would agree. Yeah, but with me, oh. she plotted to shut up that shell of the piano at the sea. Uh, and blew it miserably. Her plan was great. Until it sunk. She gained control of the oceans. And got blown to squiddy chunks. <laughs> Plotting, planning, self-expression, art. Conceiving schemes to rend young love apart. 
The machinations going to extremes and true love conquers all your darling dreams. The fairies, boring. Vapic, supreme. So Stale, but mediocrity always prevails. Small royal brad, no worthy enemy, no vision, no interiority. And not as handsome as I thought you'd be. <laughs> Crow's feet? Yeah, no way, he's 17. <laughs> <laughs> a charming face to mask an empty head. Dull eyes and blank expression. Cause he's dead. Well, yes, you've won. You're welcome. I don't know. It's victory. I feel so empty, cold. Well, right, because you're wicked. <sighs> no! Well, yes. <laughs> but I have needs, and there's no satisfaction in this rash and bloody deed. You need to get the kettle. I'll do lights. Some board games, wine, opinions, sisters, night. I don't feel like playing games. Backgammon. Months of planning down the drain. Ah, oh, but here's your chance to practice strategy, because all your chess craft is no match for me. My plan. A travesty. My masterpiece, <laughs> bold, dastardly. Foredoomed catastrophe. Wait. I remember your last wicked plan to snuff some teen, the fairest in the land. Subcontract with that hunter, he breaks down and she shacks up with seven singing clowns. <laughs> a poisoned apple, stereotype disguise, and all for big fat nothing. No surprise. The plan was going perfect! It sure <laughs> fell perfectly fine! So I had them! But got struck by lightning! What are the odds of that? And now, because you botched your precious plot, you came and ruined mine! Yeah, thanks a lot. I gave you victory. Did not! Did too! You knew I would succeed. Did not! You knew! That you'd fail miserably. Would not! You do! Admit your jealousy will not. It's true! It's not! It's two! It's two! It's what? It's glue! Infinity, infinity, screw you! <laughs> <laughs> I'll make your spare tire sag with water weights. Oh, conjure curly hairs around your grin. I'll turn your warthog ugly. Oh, to wait. I'll tell our dad you're moving in with him. <gasps> I'll fix your magic mirror. Check and mate. Wait. What? That doesn't count. You didn't win. We're done. Some crow. I'll fix you up a plate. We'll be that way. Oh, all right. I wasn't going to tell you this, but since you're crazy about these complex plots, fine. Here's the twist. You feel disgraced and battered and oppressed, yet you persist. You think they're gaily laughing when they cross you off their lists. You think your face is on their minds when they do love's first kiss. But they don't hate you. They don't give a shit that you exist. There's no conspiracy to restrain you following your bliss. There's just you with your pain and all the rest oblivious. No, that's not true. No way. It sucks, but that's the story, sis. But it's your day. Ignore them and they're gone. They won't be missed. Princess slain, the nation lost in comatose abyss. The castle fades to ruin, creeping bramble crumbled bricks. You shake your fist and pace and hiss and quake and rage and piss. Arrange these games and gimmicks, bait and switch, ill-fated tricks. Ignore them. They're erased, you win, so how could you resist? You are missing one detail, though. Who's the story about but me? The prince and princess pale compared to my complexity. My plans to no avail, except... They'll live in memory. When children hear the tale, that's my immortality. So though I fail, I still prevail. That's how it has to be. <sighs> I always thought you made things too complicated. But now I realize make things impossible. <laughs> well, run along, young man, and you're free to leave, and I have further editing to do. Good luck in navigating through my plot, but just one question before I let you go. What do you think about my little scheme? And not just, oh, I like it, or I don't. Conceptualize, you know, think critically. Well, don't just stand there. Speak. What do you think? No. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs>